Hello, this is Maya Heisenbuttle again. Today I'm going to go through and show you how I make QR ID cards. So the first thing I do is I need three columns of information. Some sort of ID number, a first name, and a last name. So in this case I just made up a bunch of ID numbers to show you how it worked. Here are my first names. Notice some of them have middle initials or middle names because my student information system will sometimes pop them out with a middle name and I'm just showing you here that you can totally use that. Then I have a whole set of last names and to turn on the QR code uh, ID card maker the first thing you want to do is go to add-ons and I have the QR code generator installed. If you don't you just go to get add-ons and you type it into your search. It's QR code generator. And there it is. Mine says manage because I already have it installed. Yours will not say managed. It'll say do you want to install it and you just click yes it is free. So once I get that done I do have to highlight everything that I want to turn into an ID card. It does have a limit so it'll do about if I'm remembering correctly about 50 at a time. Um, so if you're doing an entire pyramid school teacher and you're seeing 300 kids, um, you just do them in batches. And it's mostly because of the image that it creates takes up a little bit of space, so it just takes a little bit to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go to add-ons, QR code, uh, generator, open. And so what it does, it opens it over here on the side. I have my three columns highlighted. I'm going to tell it I want ID cards. That's really the only one I use. Uh, it will make general QR codes, but I prefer to just use it for the ID cards because I use uh, my script to make all my other QR codes so I can manage them a little differently. Hit generate. It takes it a second because it has to go through and make sure your data is usable and that it can create things correctly. And then once it's done, it's going to give me a new file. It drops the file right next to wherever your uh, Make Student ID Cards file is stored. I can open the document, and here's what it looks like. So I would cut these out, and I just use a paper cutter, cut them out, put them on the front of a student notebook, and use some packing tape to tape it down. And that's how I get my students all an ID card. And you can use any QR code reader to do that. Um, I just have a random one here. I'm going to hold it up so you can see that it actually gives you the student name and ID number right there. And any QR code um, reader will read these codes. I like to use a special one to put it into a spreadsheet, but I'll go over that in the next video.